code reviews. Code reviews can sometimes be really awkward, especially when you have comments like this in your pull request. Hi, I fixy wixy the JSON API. Can you please merge my pull request senpai ubu? I really like Dan Abramov's comment here. Or something like this. Hello, I'm a 40 year man from Somalia. I write code with a whim. Uh, please no copy Pastorino my code. I get you understand uh, perfectly what's going on here. Or something like this. This code very fast. Remove empty characters. I think the guy literally did code minimization, minification uh, manually. But anyway, turns out there's a, a standard called conventional comments in programming or in our industry, which is supposed to save you a lot of time during code reviews, peer reviews, requests for comments and so on with defined rules. And it's supposed to also to minimize the chance of a miscommunication, misunderstanding, because communicating with comments in some pull request is just a different type of a human interaction and it's also prone to errors. So this official website of the conventional comments got me really interesting and I want to take a look at some examples with you. So imagine we have a comment like this in our pull request. This is not worded correctly. We can simply prefix it by a kind of a tag uh, or, or a label as they call it, that it's a suggestion. And now the intention is much clearer and the tone is, has changed dramatically. Like we're not saying that this is wrong. We're, it's just a suggestion that this is not worded correctly. You know, you know what I mean? Or like just, just a nitpick and it's not blocking, so you can go ahead, but this is not worded correctly. So labels can also prompt a review to give more actionable comments. For example, we can also put a label, a kind of a title, like this is not worded correctly, and then have some kind of a more explanation and ask something like, can we change this to match the wording or, or of the marketing page and so on? Basically, this kind of labeling is supposed to save us a lot of time and as they say, misunderstanding. So I would say this is the very, this is the best feature of the conventional comments and we should really be using it. And now we have more examples. For example, suggestion, hey, let's avoid using this specific button and some more explanation. If we reference much of a function marked deprecated, it's almost certain to disagree with us sooner or later. Fair enough. Or like there's an issue, it's a UX issue, but it's also not blocking. These buttons should be red, but let's handle it in a follow-up. So that's why it's not blocking. As I said, target audience can be different places. You can do it in a code review, RFC, revisiting, editing, and so on. And the format. So the label is the one that we saw. So it's uh, just like suggestion. So this is a single label that signifies what kind of a comment it is by nature. Then we can have decorations, like whether it's a blocking or not blocking, whether it's a UX, uh, comment or not, and the subject, basically the text, and some discussion. So supporting, basically supporting statements, reasoning and context and so on. For example, this is going to be the label, as we saw here. This is going to be a decorator, so it's optional. So in this case, it's not blocking. And we have we, here we have a subject, and here we have the discussion. Yeah, you can, it can be parsed like this. So what kind of labels do we can we put? Obviously, we're flexible, so you can agree on labels and decorators in your team within your team. But here are some examples of them. So we can have a praise, we can have a nit nitpick, suggestion, issue, or maybe you want to say like, hey, there's a to do in your pull request, or a question or a thought or a chore. And you can also use these like Polish, Quibble, and in terms of decorators, it can also be a security decorator. It can be test if, if minor. So here's, here are more examples. Like if minor blocking, blocking means that, that this, this comment means that this is actually blocking us. So it's kind of critical. So here are more examples. 
like a nitpick that we need to change little star to a little bat or a chore. Hey, let's run the Jabberwock CI job to make sure that it doesn't break any known references and uh, praise. You can also praise someone. So beautiful test. <laughs> and yeah, so here are some best, best practices as well. Basically, you need to mentor people exponentially, not force them to always use this conventional comments. Combine similar comments, replace you with we because you want to reference, because you usually want to, oh my God, it's so sunny. You usually want to refer to to everyone as a team doing code reviews so, so that people don't feel like they're, you're blaming them. But yeah. Guys, let me know what you think, whether you're already you're already using this conventional comments in your company, at your work, at your in your studies, in your team. And if not, whether you think this could help you in any way. I think that's a really cool thing to implement. I personally am not using it in my at my work, but I would actually see it as a as a benefit if we add it some at some at some point. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Smash like if you enjoyed the content and I will see you in the next video.